It's yeah. literally in the sweatshirt. It's for like skiing. Sure. Check. Oh, that's kind of nice. I have spray the dye. Where's the hate? This is the perfect for all your shit. Oh, really? That's it. I'm sorry. Hmm. Multiple uses. Shout out to, Shout out to Oakley. I miss Sponsor us? I miss Please. my Oakley glasses that I had from the <laughs> army. Are they given to you from the army? Yeah, I had a Oh, place. yeah. They're shit. And they always get stolen. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, well the ones that I had were actually really nice. It's conflicting opinions. They do always get Must stolen. Be sucks. They always get scratched up. By and then someone always steals them. By each chicken. other. Oh, you just steal each other's Oakley? Oh. Yes! It's a sport? I was everyone just, steals everyone else's what shit. What else are they gonna do? I was just happy not having to wear their shitty ESS glasses. Okay. So, so I'm guessing this is the 20. Then you're out of play on the yes. ESS or the ESS. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Fucking 100%. Sure. Sorry, first time. Pop in the cherry. It's fine. Wait, did you bring cookies again? Are you gonna wear that the whole time? Fuck you, man. It, it was left over here. No, no, you <laughs> it. No, no there's, there's another one. No, I'll go get the other one. There was like four of them. What are you talking about? Uh, he won a one. Okay. He has another. <laughs> I, I know. <laughs> I have no more. Mr. Brock, I know that you would give me the cookie, and I'm not going to ask you because I know you'd give me the cookie. Why are you I trying to bully Brock? Brock? You already made him give you his prize <laughs> dice. <laughs> I already had one. It's, it's a good one. It's, it's, it's a joke. Joke. <laughs> I don't want Saturday. But I already had one. It's actually only fair. Joe made me eat out twice today. I don't want to eat out. Made you go to Kane's and then what? No, no, I, I had stuff. And then John and, and I will be building the truck. Chinese, so I don't need any more truck. And that will be exciting. Joe's contributing to either, so that's, that's why I want to like have someone else eat. No, you it's don't. It. You just want to eat it. Next week, it's probably when I go buy a lot of the materials <laughs> for it or something oh. potentially. For what? Eat the cookie. Just eat the damn John's cookie. Gonna, John's gonna come over and help build the table. Make sure we get it all nice. Like chairs. Likely story. I would say use a lot of red nails and wood glue. I'm sorry, you're gluing the chairs together? No, 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 no. for the table. Oh, okay. No, the I'm chairs. Saying, that's you have to make a chair that's a little bit heftier for me. No, because. You're going to have to have a little bit more support. They're going to be two by four chairs. You're not going to break it, trust Good. me. Good. That's what I'm no going to want. Although, I do want to see if we can get everyone to pile on one chair. If I can't break a two by four chair by my fat ass self, there's no way you can break a two by four chair. So. Trust me. <laughs> I've tried. I've actually okay. purposely tried. I haven't tried, so. We'll Didn't work. More time. <laughs> you know that moment when you like you your right. character voice and you forgot it like that's actually gonna happen. Yeah. Great boys and girls. Girl. Thank you. Yes. Okay. So last time. So last time, each of you woke up to a very upset father uh, who told you a brief story about his life and what the protectors of the town and what his tavern meant to him. After having a quick discussion, you guys were interrupted interrupted by the guards entering and met and were met face to face with McCann, uh, who gave you a chance to prove your case by searching the house of Benedict. After defeating some awakened timber, you would re retrieve McCann and show her everything. I'm so aggressive. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that actually would be Brock's character. That's what I'm saying. Anyway, after That's defeating awesome. some awakened timber, you retrieved McCann and, and you were able to show her evidence from the demonic contract as well as several pieces of uh, guard armor that, that were enough to settle your case <clears throat> and to justify the arrest of Benedict. Shortly thereafter, McCann made a promise that she would return in the morning to inform me about the road mage that she needed taken, uh, but in the meantime would pass word to local vendors of her good deed. A new day arises, and so do we begin. Oh. Are we not doing the thing where we're fighting about the lion thing? Oh, we can pick up where you left off. I didn't no, know no, we'll start the day over. No, we'll that's what I'm saying. I didn't know if we're starting at that Mulligan. point or if we're, yeah. Mulligan. We're starting the day over. Fuck. Okay. Mulligan. It's my show. adventure. So, like switch for those of you who are in the tavern, uh, the, arid morning, the arid morning air greets you once again as you find yourself in another day in Odin. Uh, but today uh, is a little different. You wake up to significantly less noise. Um, there are, you don't 
You don't noticeably hear as many people in the streets. You don't hear as much chatter going on. Uh, and general festival pleasantries, they seem to be dying down a bit at this point. So the festival is coming to a close. <coughs> Sit so high. <laughs> so, um, Todd Rail is downstairs. The festival's dying down. You guys are free to do as you wish. Except for you, except for you. And, uh, Prynos. Aww. That's it. Yeah. He's too drunk to leave. He won't be able to remember today. <laughs> so, you find yourself in the back in the kitchen, doing over. more dishes. You're already up and about. Morning routine. You're in, you're in the back with uh, Bianca, who's who's working the grill, kind of. Working. <laughs> some things are some things oh, burning some food, oh, but she might burn your patties if she's not careful. It's edible, and Bianca's out. It's edible. Bianca's out serving What's some edible? Food too. Bianca. <laughs> so Amber's Amber's out bussing tables. Um, there's three tables that are taken. Each. Oh, pardon me. I get me every time. Turn that off. <laughs> It's me every time. Oh! It's me. Oh. First time. Oh. Oh. Did you just assume Matt was ripping it this whole time? <laughs> I yes. don't know. Oh, excuse me. I just thought it would not. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, what are you guys doing? I'm um, going to check out the stalls again. The stalls. The market. Oh, okay. okay. <clears throat> I'm going to be right. So you're just get, you're getting up and moving and okay. So you come downstairs and Todd Rail's behind the behind the bar. He's just kind of leaning. Everybody right now is at a table or being helped by Amber. Um, nobody really gets drunk at this hour, so he's sitting at the table. Um, oh, hi, uh, leaving so soon? <laughs> See, now it's forced. Well, you can't. You can't like ha ha. <laughs> Just casually, you know, I'm a fucking bird, I'm leaving. <laughs> Maybe it's the same. Yeah, did the cane make her way around the market? I don't know. Well, I'm out to see if we got those deals that we were promised for completing this quest. The original. Okay. See you later, man. Good luck. Thanks. <laughs> What's the deal? Well, the equivalent of cool story, and, bro. <laughs> so Am Amber, like, looks at you walking out the door and then looks at Tadger Isle and just goes, um, I am going to also leave. You're just walking out the door too. Yep. Okay. So you get upstairs. The you get up and go down the stairs. They creak as you walk down. Oh, oh hi, Miss, Miss Sylvia. Uh, you got two. Yeah. Well, have a good day. Well, this and, and Kaylin's behind you, like we will. Thanks. <laughs> good. <laughs> and so he follows you guys out to the market. Better be. Um, so out in the market, um, they aren't closing up shop. They're still, they still seem like they have their general wares with them. Um, <clears throat> I forget his name. Okay. Whose name? What does he look like? Potion Master. Snake? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the guy who sells. Oh, wait. Yeah, why did I have three? Oh, it's supposed to be this. He's one of the two of our wizards. I know who he is. I'm sure with all the fucking bullshit that he puts in there. I'm so bored. I just need to be. Okay, well, so, so, walking on the old so we'll say that Sylvia's nature, like, a bit behind you. Just, like, you see her, but. We're not together. Yeah, 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 yeah. but you see she's with Caitlin. Um. So there are several stands. You see the chapel guy already trying to sell to people. Um, you see a stand that has general swords and arms. You see one that's there is. Um, I'm sorry. Um, so you see a stand that has a few cloaks hanging. Um, why are these some other materials? Uh, there is a sword shop with. With a shorter guy in front of it, and there, and then there is another stand that has various vials in it that you don't know. I walk up to the stand. Which stand? The vial stand. Okay. You remember me? 
Yes, I think so. I tried to buy that perfume from you and then decided not, not to get the oh, yeah. smelly thing. You walked away. That was rude. So, have you heard about me now? Tread. McCain might have come around. But... Tread. Oh, with uh, with your friend. I have heard of you. Yes, yes. Uh, said it was a joke. It's a tread, right? It's a joke. That's why I heard it. It's tread. Anyway. Tread <clears throat> Yeah, so I, I have general potions for you and uh, health potions if you like. How much for a health potion? Fifty gold. Well, I'm sorry. For you guys, thirty-five. Give you for free. Hmm. Or I'll tell you what, because I like you, two for one. Thirty-five each, two for one. Do you have the choice? This motherfucker's the only one who took the. What can I do? What, you just, you just kind of look at me. No, right. <laughs> Let me go consult with everybody else and see if we can't scrounge together some for these immaculately good health potions you have. Well, they're just health potions. Pretty That's expensive good. for just health potions. Well, if you can find any, any for cheaper, let me know. You're right, that won't happen. So. <laughs> You're right. I. I so, uh, <laughs> uh, so next to you, next, next, to, so one stall over from him, you see a hooded figure in front of some other cloaks, and a, a long black beak is just sticking out. He doesn't look at you, he just, he's looking around, but not at you, and you just hear, Tread. Okay. Who's there? Like, I just turn around like, is he to my... No, no, so you came up to the stand, let's say, on his left, on, on his right, um, so they'd be facing the ocean. Um, so the the, the, oh, the next stand is to his left. Tread. I don't walk up, but I stare at him. I feel like this character says everything in a certain voice. My character? Yeah. Absolutely. What? It doesn't look at you, it doesn't say anything else. I keep walking. Oh. Am I there? Uh, you were up behind him, so by the time he finished up with uh, the other guy, the potions guy, you would have walked up. Might be a bird friend calling for you. Calling for you. I don't have bird friends, so. Tread. Calling for you. Oh, this is annoying. Fine, I, I walk up to him very, very slowly, like... And so, and so, uh, he, ri he rises his face a little bit, and you can see, uh, sort of deeper in the hood, just two piercing yellow eyes looking back at you, and he just sort of gestures at the stand. Oh no. <laughs> oh yes! Oh no! <laughs> what's, his, what's his wares? Tell and us his wares. And then, yeah, like... <laughs> Sorry I didn't come over first. You didn't look very, uh... I, my character doesn't know what to say either. Like, I don't know what to say, neither does my character. But wouldn't that be fucking creepy? <laughs> he, he's, he's still, he's, his eyes are looking at you now and just goes, Fucking creepy. <laughs> <laughs> and so, um... What? Shrieking distress. What? I thought this was a joke. Damn, he bird called me. Yeah, he did. He bird called you hard. It's that sweet cloaca. Fuck. This is like no passing small. I love it. Yeah, right. I wish you read my mind. What are we supposed to write now? So, no, it's we don't know places. Past you. Look at the notes anyway. Okay, that's fucking hilarious. Because <laughs> <laughs> the note is. Okay. <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is where you How did I not do you? Places that they'll leave on the street for me. Before I'm going to try to have a time limit. Right. Yeah. So. So basically, right now, like, characters' names. 
and maybe a part like so if, if we find out this character's name, I write down their name and like a descriptive feature, like so like mimics my words or you know something yeah. that I remember. And then like I also keep track of like how many arrows I use. Uh, I don't make good notes. Okay. But they're there. <laughs> should be a secret. I don't take notes. I just keep track of damage dealt. That's about it. Dude, tell me more about this <laughs> fucking. Ah. Okay. So you just you're just kind of looking at him. Oh, what's his wares? What's his wares? I'm just pretty much. Well, let me go to Levi as well. So he doesn't have very. Um, he just has a few things. So one is just a small. Anyway. Whoa! You bitch! So, get it to Joe first. Get it to Joe. Please. It's so funny. This is how we keep the story going. Why? Because it's funny. Because we're all hungry. I'm trying to do it so I don't interrupt since I'm not telling the story at the moment. See, that worked. <laughs> anyway. Ruined. So he has a very simple stand where it's it's sort of like a, um, like a, a coat, a, a very simple like, wooden coat rack. And it's just like a white canvas <laughs> like that hangs. Ooh. No. Oh. Coat rack. He's, he's just sitting inside. It's just a coat rack? How many feet? Let me tell you what's on the coat rack. We're like into this, okay? Are you ready to finish? God, I'm, this is so weird. So, so left to right, um, on the very left, you see like it looks like a wind chime, okay. um, but it, it doesn't necessarily blow with the wind. It's just hanging there. It's just a ball like you'd see on a Christmas tree, mm -hmm. One, or like a cat collar. Okay. Um, next to that, you see a sort of a green look, a forest green looking cloak with some um, some leathery looking material about right here that's very ornate and decorated. And then next to that one, you see uh, an all black cloak with a very fine blue. I want to see if I recognize it, like from my study of, because obviously they're magical and I'm magic fucking bird, whatever. Yeah. And. Uh, okay. Um, make an arcana check. So you guys are you guys are both looking at the this array, <clears throat> and you guys can both roll, or one of you can roll. Was it a one? You have advantage though, so roll again. Is it a one? It was a one. <laughs> you you dropped have, it. We like, you look so sad. So you have advantage. So roll again. Because she's assisting. Don't use that dice. Thank God, Rachel. <laughs> Thank God for the assist. Okay, that's better. Uh, seventeen. Seventeen. Oh, okay. So <laughs> the field of magic you studied uh, doesn't necessarily reveal anything about these cloaks, but you are getting. You, you do feel more drawn to the green one. Just greener color? Like, a, a familiar, a sense that... What's it look like again? So it's, so, so it's one of those like half cloaks that goes like halfway down your back. Forest green, and then it's got very intricately decorated this with is leather, like from, like from here to here. And then the chime, and then... And then chime, and then another. Two cloaks and a leader. What's your name? Your name? I don't speak very much of the Terracotta way. She looks back at you. What's your name? Do we want anything from this guy? Because he's really. I think I'm going to pass. Pass. Thank you, though. How, how about that green looking cloak there, mister? Like? Like? Questions. Full questions. Where'd you get that? <laughs> Keeps looking at he doesn't answer. Would you want to sell it to me? <clears throat> I 
Obviously, Brock. I know, but I want him to talk. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I hope he's a bar sergeant. Yeah. Sell it. How much? You looking for a little? You look, are you looking at the green one? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so that one, he sort of, uh, you see, he's got. He moves his hand out, and his cloak only comes to about here, and you can just see large, dark, black feathers protruding, and kind of reveals a price tag, and it says 240 on it. Sorry about that. I guess we'll have to come back to that. We don't have any money. We can't do any questions. The guard don't pay us. Do it. So I'm not coming out of my room <laughs> at all for the whole day. The odds have gone so. Now I can't get blamed for this one. You're not coming out for the day. <laughs> no, I hope so not. We'll come I may not need the pub. Okay. This is the way <laughs> Is there? I don't have that much gold. Um, is there anything I could do for you to obtain that club? Whoa, I saw that hand motion. Well, that's way too pricey for me. God, what? Can I, like, I know you're a bird, but you're a tree. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> sorry, can't get it. I turn around and start walking. Sorry. Sorry. <sighs> I like him. <laughs> he looks back at you. Buy it. I can't. Don't have the funds. Sorry. Have a nice day. <laughs> nice day. I just gave you a little twitch. I'm just gonna walk away. And Kim goes, oh, I like that one. <laughs> <laughs> what? Of course you're a little pretty. I don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder I treat him like crap. <sighs> so, um, are you guys going back to the... I like to go to the quest board. Okay. Um, so it's a, it's a very short walk. It's very close to the old souls. Um, I follow her. So you see, you see uh, a quest for a rhino, and to turn it and to turn it in to Hammerlock, once uh, once completed, he, he comes to... It tells you, turn into Hammerlock, he'll be at the old souls. And then he might go through the next four or five days past that. Don't come looking. Okay. And so, um, you guys can, you guys can, you can't see the old souls from the quest board, but you're down the road from it, and you know where it is. Mm -hmm. And you guys see, um, McCann walking in. Oh, uh, we should probably go talk to her about that wig that we're supposed to do. Sorry. <laughs> I, I forgot. Yeah. Let's go back. Um, while you're in the kitchen, you're going to hear Tadriel. Oh, hi, McCann. What can I do for you? Yes, where are the adventurers from before? We're headed back, by the way. Yeah. Um, uh, most of them are... And uh, you, Trax, you would be behind her. So you're with her and with two other guards at this point. <clears throat> so. Where are they? Uh, a few of them just stepped out. Uh, I got one in the kitchen. If you want them to make you something, you can do that no problem. Bring you, you, you to the guard. It's okay, we've already eaten, we will wait. And so shortly after you guys will walk in. Oh, there you are. Please have a seat. And there's there's an open table that she gestures towards. Um, and she looks at you, Euthrax, and goes, You as well, Euthrax. You will join them on this one. Have a seat. <laughs> so you guys all join them. You're missing two. Where are they? Two. Yes, the, the Skull Brothers. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, one might still be in his room. Uh, the other one might be as well. I haven't seen either of them this morning. You're leaving? We're going out of the window. Are you really? Oh, damn. <laughs> uh, make an athletics check. Here we go. Right? Oh. We've got to appease this lady. She's going to haunt us forever. It's a fucking wall. Twelve? <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> you may get out of the window, but your your landing isn't very good, so it's so it's kind of. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, she's 
not hear it. Uh, oh um, my god. So at the same so at the same time, um, about a medium height figure with very sharp facial features is gonna walk in the door and actually catch her eye. This is where you enter the game. Woo! Describe your character. Oh shit. I thought I, I thought you would talk first. Ooh. Tell me what you look like. So um walk walk on your door. I walk in. Yeah, so <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Did you want to prance? Yeah. <laughs> prance is fine. <laughs> prance is fine. And join them at the table. Roll? Okay. So um Tondriel, the bartender, um, he's in the so you walk in, he's about 30, 25, 30 feet back behind the bar and just goes, Oh hi, uh, uh sir, sir. Um so he is very dark storm cloud skin, um lo- pretty long black wiry hair. Mm-hmm. And you can't see pupils. His eyes are just like straight milky white, mm-hmm. and good build, but his voice does not match his physique. Yeah, uh, sir, sir, you just sit down. Okay, is that what you're doing? No, I'm just gonna sit down. Okay, so, so McKen watches you sit. Hello. Hi. How are you? What is your name? Killian. Killian. From Killian. Daenerys. Across the border. Mm-hmm. Interesting. That's quite some distance away. What brings you to the small to the ocean? I'm looking for someone. And whom would that be? Whoever runs this ship. Oh no. No, no, so, no. No, we have no another no. one of these. Is he with you? No, I don't know him. Never what? heard of him. Really? He just sat down. <laughs> Like in my life. You. Oh god, no, not associated. I'm gonna do one of these. <laughs> you may address your <laughs> identification at home. <laughs> not looking at you. You just really threw yourself in. Oh god. god. <laughs> yeah, you were right. <laughs> Why would you say such a thing? <sighs> I'm also curious. Do, do you want the full backstory? Yes, with evidence! We don't have time for that. I've got something rather important to discuss with you. Is he with you or not? Not with us. I was seen before. To answer your question, I am in charge here. What may I help you with before I have you carried out of this establishment? I have a pint. <laughs> Why look like the fucking bartender? You might as well be. <laughs> 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 so Tadriel is is in the back still. <laughs> yeah, and, and so from the kitchen you just hear, ooh wee. <laughs> 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 it's really hot. <laughs> no sh- ooh wee. I'm amazing. going to let you take that back before I have you escorted ooh. out of my city. Try again. Don't she's try her. At, she's looking you dead in the eyes. I I walk up. Maybe later after a couple years. Euthrex, <laughs> to the front gate with this one. I was trying. I was trying to get you to go. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, make us make us both of you um roll your d twenties and do a strength check. Because you're gonna man him. Oh, oh, I want to interject. Can I interject? Yeah, yeah, you, you can still talk to the Look, I'm. I walk up very, very swiftly while so they're just wrestling. Just wrestling. Uh, that's gonna be eleven. Yeah. Okay, so he's gonna pick you up and start walking mm-hmm. you out. I try Say again. Did he looks like he can fight? Maybe he can help us on this quest. Keep him here for a second. He's, he's regist- no longer welcome in my city. Did he register first, or did he disappear? <laughs> she looks at her other two guards. Did he? <laughs> well, he'll be, he'll be at the front gate soon anyway, soon enough. Sorry. He should be. Like he's back. He's just gonna carry you the fuck out. Absolutely a deck. Now about that mage when she's talking to you. Uh, no, you're gone. I was gonna say I'm gone. So I you carried your fucking ass. Yeah, it's Ranger bird. Because they're you're already. Oh. Just oh, kidding. Right. I can still hear. You need background information. So, I'm outside. I can still hear. 
So, okay. about a day's travel to the, to the northeast out of here is a small cave that used to be used for acquiring materials for building. Much of it is in our stone wall. We have a very strong suspicion that that, where, that is where the mage is. However, we have had issues getting into the cave. We've sent a few people out and they described a sort of force field of some kind, preventing them from entering. Which is why you can see me think he's in there. Alright, well. And no one's been able to make it past this force field, I take it? No, you're free to interact with it. It doesn't seem to cause any harm, but it will prevent you from moving further. Okay. Good to know. Any uh, creatures nearby here? Any signs of life? On the edge of the, near the edge of the forest, you might see some other creatures. All right. And as far as we know, it's just one mage, correct? That is all we're looking for. Okay. What is the total dia diameter of the force field? Ooh, good one. I don't know. You descend into the cave about thirty feet. And there it starts. I only see the wall. I don't see the whole thing. And you know of no one else in his employ. I'm sorry? You know of no one else in their employ. If he's still alive, he may have help. I don't know. I mean, he was very he's very smart, but he's very dangerous. So I would not be surprised if there are others, but mm -hmm. I don't know. We will look into this bubble. So, um, you guys, uh, <clears throat> around this time, you guys are going to be arriving at the front gate. The other two guards are, are like, look at you. You, Trax, what's going on? This one making trouble at the bar, escorting him out of city. Can you check in? No. What's your name? Killian. He's got a pretty big book. <laughs> Killian what? Kaharis. Irish Red. I have your name here. You seem fine to me. <laughs> You're leaving some soon. <laughs> Possibly. What did you do? Oh, uh, hold on, Ethan. What did you do? Barked up the wrong tree. I'm just kind of like shaking my head, but it's all like jerk emotion, like. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, hope you enjoyed your stay. Peace. <laughs> yeah. And so, Uthrax is just gonna give you one big push, two steps out. Okay. And he, if you want, you can turn back and walk to the bar, to the tavern. <laughs> and and to, so because the festival is coming to an end, there's really nobody waiting to get in. There are people kind of going out and and leaving. And so they're, the guard are wishing them like happy trails, you know, like, oh, like be safe, um, things like that. But nobody really can just leave. Well done. <laughs> 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 That's how you make friends. Yeah. So, uh, Brendan, you want to do like, while you're out there? <laughs> can you like? How much moss is on that tree? Stop. <laughs> Can I pick no, up no, that no, no, boss? <laughs> so, um, in the city of Ohi is surrounded by a large claw. Well, we're alright, I get that, but no, no one's like, these the people are leaving, there's no one around me. There are the two guard at the gate, there are some people uh, ahead of you on the path, and you can see people in the town, um, just kind of, not very many, like two or three, passing by from the streets. Okay. Can I talk to the guards again? Yeah. So I just walk up to them, and, um, oh, hello? Hi. Hi. So, sorry for the rude interruption earlier. Um, interrupt. You didn't interrupt me. Did you interrupt? Well, your, your colleague just kind of carried me towards you. Okay. Yeah. Where are we right now? You guys are still in the tavern. Still face to face with the So I'm. I, I, I'm to talk to whoever's in charge here. He kind of thinks back. Well, the only person who you're. In this part of Ohi, the only person really going to be like getting in contact with is a fan. You can't really burn that bridge. Anyone else? Mr. Can. Wait, who was I talking to? 
Yes. <laughs> Twelve. Uh, what did you do? Um, and so now, now the other guard is really interested too. Like he's kind of, they're, they're both, they're both kind of like laughing at you. Yeah. Like, what did you do? Because obviously they weren't friends. So. Kind of sat down, had some words with her. Didn't, didn't go my way. With the shark. Yep, in gear. Yes. Hmm. Why would you do that? I'm new here. Okay, so let me give you the rundown, and and so he's going to kind of explain to you how how Kronk works and their overall uh, guard. Um, they take uh, respect and uh, uh, not like transparency very seriously because that's how they run things. It's all based on respect, um, acknowledgments, and being transparent. Peace, love, beauty, respect, flirt. Something like that. <gasps> and you can say you're from you're from Neolia. You're not you're from the next country. <gasps> yep. Yeah. And um, just like have a chat with him. The, the guard are very friendly. Yeah. And so he kind of gives you the rundown. Like, don't challenge the can. We had another guy the other day. I, I heard. He had like a skull in his face or something, and he got punched in the stomach. So consider yourself lucky. What was his name? I don't remember. Oh, just like all stabbed, poked, punched. I haven't heard, any, I haven't heard anything about him since. So. It's the same guard. I wonder what, I wonder what he's up to. Huh? Like, I don't know. Uh, uh, did you jump out of work? I come back in the city. Just <laughs> <laughs> Did I eat McCain? <laughs> so. If you get in trouble, you just line. That's not a way to get in trouble. Okay. Don't fuck me. Okay. He steps to the side and you can walk back. Okay, I'll walk back. Don't fuck me. Well. Okay. So back back in the tavern now with you three. No. Um. Does this job pay anything? This is a very serious quest, so I will I will compensate you in the form of eight hundred gold. Mm, sounds good. Yeah. Bring me his head. Is there any way we can get some of that mm. up front? We need supplies, and your work didn't lower the prices as much as we anticipated. They're very nice items. They come from all over the country. What were you expecting? For free? No, but. Health potions are a necessity for quests like this, and we don't have any, and we need them to complete your task appropriately. Make a persuasion check. Mm -hmm. Are you going bad? <laughs> oh! Eight minutes. Plus? Nothing. Uh. <laughs> Very well. And so about this time, you're going to walk back in the door. And she goes, you Rex. Reaches behind her hands, has a sack, of, a heavy sack. And, 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 and she just drops it. You'll find 200 gold in that sack. Spend it as you wish. And you'll still get the 800 upon completing the quest. Oh my god. Let's see. Your, your hands are covered in feathers, so it cannot like... Like, like, I can't do it. <laughs> okay, so we'll say you get to the bar at this time, and she sees you. What are you doing here, Euthrax? I thought you showed me the door. <laughs> Apparently, you need a refresher, Euthrax. No, no, no. What's, What's your name, name, man? I look at B. Oh. So what are you? Yeah, just uh, describe yourself. Oh, um. Do, in, in the short. Um, How much details you want? My, my name's Killian Perez. Um, I'm a, I'm a, I don't know how to say it. Kalashtar. Why? You think you could be of help finding this wizard with us? It'll keep you in town longer, and there's gold in it. Yeah, I think I can, I think I can manage. Is that alright, McCain? 
Staring you down. I think my dad won first, and I think our one friend Silas isn't here, so maybe we need to help. You seem to be down too. All right. Yes, my son, how much fun it was quiet. Um, <clears throat> can, I send my, the door. can I send my servant boy upstairs and knock on the door? Because <laughs> so he came in, so you asked him to help. Yes, so he's a servant boy. And so he tries to, he tries to like, like two step at a time where he skips one when he runs into the child. Face plant. Yes. He's <laughs> holding your nose and still running upstairs and knocks on Vildar's door like a thousand times in a second. Don't be so insistent, Vildar. Sir. Vildar. Oh. I'm just standing by the front door. No, I know. <laughs> Behind the door, you hear, oh! Just, he's really nervous, like, he's not answering. You have All right, well, come down day. then. Thank you yeah, for I'm checking. Sure. Yes, Mr. Sylvia, of course. And now he's, he's like, sure, to grab the railing. He is slowly walking down the stairs. Amber's, Amber's already waiting by the bottom of the stairs, like, with, like, a napkin and, like, at least she's nice to him. That's it's, good. That's what he is. <laughs> Let me get this list of things. So you are out <laughs> two, and now you want this one. I'll say we throw him in the middle of the fight. Heck, I don't have to lie. If he gets out of your town, your city, <laughs> best of both worlds, right? Savage. As long as he's out of my city. See, exactly. We'll take him out. And that's fine. I won't, it's a I won't have you Thrax escort him. I walk up to Thrax. <laughs> Not Thrax supply. <laughs> <laughs> That 200 gold. Uh, uh, what you want that cloak you were looking at earlier? If you want the cloak, you can take my share of the 200 gold now. No. <laughs> She's gonna look back at Killian. I'll give you another chance. Don't ruin this one. I don't give second chances often. Why are you here? I want to run get that. I'm here. Too. I'm looking for someone. Yeah, I might be too lost to me. everyone. For who? No man judge me. For me? Whom are you looking for? I think. A priest? I think I should help you that one. Well, I searched my country. I was, I was thinking maybe he'd be here. You searched me all of it. All of it. For one man. Insistently. What's his name? What should we be looking for? Priest Bostick. <clears throat> like the Reverend Bostick. Correct. <laughs> Are you going to take away from my mage time? I need this mage for No. No. How about we strike I'll a deal? I'll prioritize mm -hmm. this. He does the mage quest, we bring him back alive, and maybe some of your gods help them look for this Bostic man. Hmm? Instead of paying him. Why are you looking for Bostic? If that is his real name. He murdered my parents. Oh dear. Alright. Step that That's a happy plan, right? <laughs> He just murdered your family. In front of me. Mm. Ah, right. Here. Yeah. When? Three years ago. And she, she thinks it over for a minute. Outside Daenerys? Yes. Interesting. You, you can see her like really like, contemplate. You seem like you, uh, know something about it. Not Bostic per se. I have a very strong inkling that he was demonic. This truth and that? Sit down. And she, she actually pulls up a chair for another table. If somebody was sitting on it, she pulled it anyway. I'll, I'll, I'll sit down. <laughs> she sits down. I'll, I'll sit down. Yeah, the guy just goes, hi. Good morning. What's the fellow? Oh, no. Shall I 
In Denarius, some time ago, I did catch word that the university mages found a what's the word I'm looking for? They found a summoner of sorts in Denarius. Denarius or Denarius? Denarius. In Denarius. La last I understand, and last I heard from our contacts in Yolia, that he escaped it. I have not heard anything from him since. That is funny. What? Can you give me inf any information about this man? About Bostic now. Is about Bostic the summoner. Summoner. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, Some time ago, he was in. He was in Daenerys. He had a, a temple of his own. Under under a god's name, apparently no one questioned. He just happened to be the, the god of death. Oh, it's Mars. And so he was found out, and he was taking people and turning them into... I don't know what they were, but he would kill them and they would come back. Zombies! Vampires? I suppose. I can tell you this, because this seems a little too coincidental to be an accident. Just mm. the caves you're looking for are about are northeast of here. I just told you that. Don't bother writing it down. <laughs> about halfway from here to the forest, if you go due north, there is an abandoned church out there. Which god was it that you saw? God of Death. Creepy. Yo, abandoned church, here I come. Try walking that way. Tell me what you find. Okay. <laughs> Sounds like another quest. Yeah, but I thought the mage thing. I fill out my It's on the way. So it might be related. So you guys have a few quests. You have the rhino quest to do east in the forest. No, we didn't accept that yet. No, we, didn't we, grab we, we, we just looked at it. I didn't grab it. Okay. Well, I mean, you're aware of it. Yeah, we know where it is. I have it written down in my notepad that I carry around with me, but I didn't take it down. <laughs> See, I mean, just, yeah, so right out to the east, the cave with the mage, with the forest moon in front of it, is due northeast, and then to the north of that is this abandoned church. Hmm. So, I think I've given you enough for one night. You be prepared. I don't know what you'll face. Come back to me when you face it. You Trax, you're with them for now. We'll report back after the job is done. Roger. So they they will all. So she will start walking back out. The two guards are uh, on the inside of the door. They both fall in line with her and walk out. And she stops outside and looks and looks me to your left. And where were you this whole time? So that's not even like a fast run, it's just like <laughs> <laughs> I'm running to the front gate. <laughs> she just turns and walks in a different direction. No, I'm sure. Twenty knows I'm weird. <laughs> She's catching on. <laughs> So I guess. Tadriel looks at you and hands you hands you a mug. Like, I have never seen McCann give anyone a second chance before. Ah. This one's on me. Mr. Kylan. I don't know his name. Is it that? No. Killian. Uh, nice to meet you. Welcome to the Old Souls. Thank you. And um, so a, sh a shorter, uh, dwarven looking woman with some pretty decent. Not from you. Oh. I excuse you. Do you really want to talk to my girl like that? Is it your servant? No, she's my friend. Oh, it's a little. Amber. Oh. I'm all for Amber. You will treat her with respect. Sorry. Tell that to her. Sorry. Can there be a one-on-one? 
combat duel. So he takes the mud back from your hand. <laughs> can I sneak back into the other God damn it! You don't have to. So you can. Uh, I don't want them to realize. He's just running around <laughs> like acting like he's hiding from yeah. things. So the, <laughs> you guys are all conversing around Killian, and you see a hooded figure like look in the doorway, kind of. <laughs> oh, there he is. And Pajo goes, She's gone. You didn't need to run. She was looking for you. Oh, you missed talking to her. You didn't miss much. <laughs> anyway, uh, please respect my star. It won't come back. Oh, you're new, you're new here, that's fine. Respect my star. It won't come back. I didn't know you were running a brothel. And so. God damn it! Enjoy Steel Dance! Yeah, so Amber, she's gonna rip your wrist really hard. She's not gonna say anything. Yeah. Uh, roll a strength check. I think it would be. No, plus one. Plus one. Like he, no, zero. Nine. And she's gonna. She's grabbing you pretty hard. She's going to walk you out the door and push you out. Okay, I'm gonna wait outside. Don't come back. Who pushed him out? Amber. Amber. You go, girl. Oh and God so she, damn it! She walks by. She walks by Sylvia and just goes like this. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> and Chandra was like, "Nice going, honey." Looks really good. Well, not really. Don't let him speak to anyone who might read me. You're telling me. Yeah, you have to keep your mouth shut or I'll shut it for you. You're yelling that at the door. I was going to say, you're just like, you're yelling at the door. I will duel. Yeah. I will, duel. Anyway, I will yeah. throw my glove down. So, uh, being outside for the first time now, uh, you guys immediately notice a lot less guard. Mm. You can still see him every so often, like every three blocks or so, mm. if that. But it's not like before, where there were like two on a block and just conversing with people. They're still, you know, talking to people. Right. Um, but these are more familiars. Like they know each other. It's it's that crowd. And um, there are a lot less eccentric, eccentrically dressed people walking around. Well, I didn't want to buy anything unless we want to buy a, a healing potion or two. I've got my healer kit. Got a few uses bring people up, but <laughs> well, if our robot friend is flush, then perhaps we should make some purchases. All right. So yeah, you have the two hundred gold. Um, Efrax, why don't you go buy some healing potions? I just kind of like saunter out the door. All the company. <laughs> We're all outside. But, uh, are we? Yes. Mm -hmm. It's two for 35. And do you get a better deal because you're freaking guard? Maybe. Let's hope so. I don't know. I That's why I sent you off to try. You'll try to get, like, better deal. All right, I'll just go to the first stand that I see and try to see if they have health potions. Okay, so, yeah, the first stand in line, stand in line was the potions guy. Hello? Look, he looks me up and down. Hello? Greetings. I require health potions. Okay. Uh, I've got four. So, he's looking... You, you're, you kind of consist of the prompt colors. Um, he's on the guard. Affirmative. Why do you need potions? I thought, I thought the guard had their own dessert. For my companions. Okay. Reserve. Hold on. Uh, can you just go grab one of them? Oh, they said we can't use it in the reserve. It's all bad and What is it going? Oh, shit. <laughs> so he gets them, but he's I mean, more forged, so he doesn't get he doesn't get help yeah, options. Yeah, but I mean, he can what take that? them. What? What is war forged? Does he have a robot? Like, like, you know, like the gold one? <laughs> 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 oh, that's great. Yeah. <laughs>